the solution to this example, the first thing we need to do is tell Excel how it will recognize where the date is. If you look at these sentences, these backslashes are quite unique. And if we want to pull out the month, if we can just find the first backslash, we'll at least get a sense of where the month is. So we can use a find function. And I'm going to say look for the backslash. So I've put it in inverted commas within that cell there. And you'll see it tells me character 43. I don't need a start number. I'm happy to get the first backslash. The next thing we need to do, let's just copy this down. The next thing we need to do is extract the next two characters. So for that we're going to use the mid function. We're going to say look in that text, start, and we're going to say at that character but plus one. Otherwise it will include the backslash. How many characters do we need? So it looks like we can rely on it being two characters long. So you'll see you get a 0, 3. So even there we can already see what the problem line is. But we want to be able to compare it to this, which is a number. So we need to convert this into a number. So we can use the function value. And now I can build an if function. And what it's going to say is, is that cell there equal to the cell here? And we put our dollar signs on. If it is, we're going to say it's OK. And if it's not, we're going to say error. And you can now copy it down.